In today's video, we'll demonstrate how to connect a .NET Blazor web application to a PostgreSQL database using .Connect for PostgreSQL. You can choose between the free trial and the full version. The free trial lasts for 30 days and lets you explore all the available features. It cannot be used for commercial projects and does not require a license key. To start the trial, simply download the installer from the DevR website and install it on your machine. If you purchase the full version, your activation key will be available on the DVAR customer portal. To get started, you need to create a new Blazor project in Visual Studio. Once the project is set up, you will install the necessary components to enable PostgreSQL connectivity. In the taskbar, click Tools, NuGet Package Manager, and Manage NuGet Packages for Solutions. Search DVAR Data PostgreSQL and click Install. Your project is ready to work. In our case, we'll configure the project by replacing the default code with a pre-written script that checks the connection to your PostgreSQL database. The video's description includes an example of this code. First up, let's configure the connection to your database. In your Blazor project, navigate to the app settings file. This is where we'll define the database connection string. In this script, we'll set up the PostgreSQL connection string, which includes essential details such as the server, port, user ID, and password. Dot .Connect for PostgreSQL supports various advanced connection types, including SSL, SSH, proxy, and other connections. For more detailed information on configuring these connection types, please refer to the link in the description. Let's create a model class to represent the data in the actor table from the Sakila database. Go ahead and create a new c -sharp class and call it actor. This model will mirror the structure of the actor table. Next, we need a way to connect to the database and retrieve data. To do this, we'll create a database service class. This service will handle the database connection and retrieval of actor data using the PostgreSQL connection class and of our data PostgreSQL library. With the database service ready, it's time to register it in the Blazor application's dependency injection container. This line registers database service as a singleton, making it available throughout the application. Now for the exciting part, displaying data in your Blazor application. Create a new Blazor component. This component will use the database service to fetch and display actor data. Click on the Run button to start the application. Now that the test is running successfully, you're ready to expand on this foundation. You could add more tables, build additional components, or enhance the UI to create a more interactive experience. Thank you for watching this tutorial. We hope you found it helpful. Feel free to share the video with anyone who might benefit from it.